is a tuberculosis survivor who hopes to raise awareness of people suffering from the disease unstigmatized. This 24-year-old recently launched her hashtag Break the Stigma campaign in conjunction with the World Health Organization, South Africa. South Africa. South Africa is currently studying medicine with plans to become a pediatrician. This 24-year-old future doctor played netball for 11 years and enjoyed hiking and swimming in her free time. South Africa! How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Well, I'm wonderful. Last year's Miss Universe was from South Africa. Do you feel extra pressure on you to pull off a back-to-back -back victory? Well, Steve, I think it's normal for there to be a little bit of pressure. But I know that South Africa is supporting me all the way, just like they supported Demi. I know they're probably all sitting behind their TV screens right now with a cup of coffee because it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And I just want to say thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you, South Africa. Saudi Thailand. As a medical student and tuberculosis survivor, a disease that kills millions of people every year, I'm one of the lucky few to survive, and I'm able to tell my story through my hashtag Break the Stigma campaign. And I hope I can encourage everyone out there who's facing any adversity or any challenge to speak up about their story. Kapunka. South Africa! I'm studying medicine. I'm a second medical student. Studying medicine, you come face to face with this fine line between life and death. And I think that teaches you how to appreciate life so much more. It teaches you to show love and be compassionate. We need better quality medical care for everyone. Because working in the hospitals, I've seen that in our clinics or in our rural areas, not everybody is treated the same. I definitely want to work in health for the rest of my life. And it requires someone who is really passionate about it to do a good job at being a doctor. And I think I've been blessed with those skills, so I have to use it, it's my responsibility. South Africa, that's on you. Uh, diamonds on my neck. And now, here are your top 10 finalists, starting with South Africa. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. She checks all the boxes. And from the moment she walked in rehearsal, I couldn't stop looking at her and neither could the other contestants. She is definitely crowning material. Look at the walk and the face. Taking the stage, please welcome tonight's top ten, beginning with... South Africa. All right, this is a wow, but I'm very nervous. This is a nail biter because it's a beautiful gown. Miss South Africa looks absolutely stunning, but she's having a hard time walking in this. You can see the issue she's having with her shoes and the hemline of that dress makes me very nervous and it's affecting her presentation. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, many countries across the world are experiencing an increase in immigration. Do you think countries should limit the number of refugees allowed across their borders? I think that every country should have their own rules and regulations. But for 
a thriving society and for all of us to stand together, we have to understand that we are all human. And we all are more alike than we are not. So we should be open to loving each other, accepting each other, doesn't matter where we come from. Thank you, South Africa. South, South Africa, please join me. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Steve. Here's your question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life, and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? Throughout my life, throughout my life, I've been exposed to both those who are privileged and underprivileged. And what I've learned is that we are all human. We all want to be loved, we all want to belong, and we all want to be seen. So we should treat each other that way. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa.